Hi there, I'm Laurentiu, and in this video I'm going to talk about Cyberpunk. But not this Cyberpunk, but the mobile version of Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2022, the Arasaka's plot. A game written by Mike Pondsmith, the guy who wrote Cyberpunk 2077. And story-wise, you can see it. The game has a great story. You play as Sam Gibson, a gun for hire that got fooled by the company that hired him, he is wanted by the law and wants to know who and why is behind the plot. The game spans across 12 levels and overall is a mixed bag. While the story is fantastic and the opening cutscene is too, the rest of the gameplay has some flaws that will make some people start losing interest in the game. First off, the game is clunky. The controls are responsive, but something about them doesn't make you feel like you are in full control of the character. Then, a bad checkpoint system will make you again want to abort the game. If you die, no matter where in a level, you start from the beginning of that level. And that is no fun in some longer levels of the game. There are levels that take you around half an hour to finish. Die once, anywhere in that half an hour, and you get restarted from the beginning of the level. Other than this, the game also has some bad camera. You change sections in the game, and when you do that, there are oftentimes enemies right when you cross, and before you can react, they already shoot you or explode in your face. And with the limited health you get, plus the fact that if you die, you restart the level, this is a bigger annoyance than you might expect. Also, the game has bad level designs, because you can't always see where to go. Sometimes you have to ascend or descend a ledge you can't even see, but on the upside, you can choose from a decent array of guns in the game. You can loot soldiers and can even enhance your character with implants. The implants don't change the character's appearance, but at least they change the performance a little bit. It's not a big difference, some may call it even placebo, but I had the impression that the implants help. In the game, aside from shooting, looting and platforming, you will also have to hack stuff. And you do that by typing hack in the console and playing a hacking minigame. You have to form squares in the time limit to reveal your code. Actually, you reveal only some digits on the screen. And the hacking minigame can get to be intense in some instances as you are on a time limit. Once you unlock the digits, comes a rather annoying part. You have to type code and start trying out all possible combinations to get the code right. But in spite of the flaws I listed, I can deny that the game is still very good. It has a very pronounced retro feel to it, the game isn't bad, it's just tough. It requires you to think creatively and with the well written story, its length and graphics, I could compare the title to an NES game. It takes you more than 3 hours to finish the game, and that, for Java game standards, is really long. So yeah, the game has flaws, but while playing it, you feel like you are gaming. You feel like you are playing a retro game, that usually is tough. I mean, retro games are tough compared to the games we play nowadays, where you have tight checkpoint systems and regenerative health and stuff. So. If you're up for the challenge and want to play a game with a good story on Java, try this one out. It's a hidden gem. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.